Uh, thank you for introduction. Um, I am uh, Yasisa Kondo. I'm uh, from Japan. Uh, today I'm uh, talking about our ontological challenge of uh, Japan's uh, interdisciplinary project on the cultural history of early modern humans in Asia. Um, I'm afraid uh, my talk is a bit off the scope of this session, but uh, I uh, thank the organizer for accepting this paper. So our topic is on early modern human migration to Asia. That is a top, top topic in paleoanthropology and archaeology now. So this is a map uh, of sites in the ages and postulated early and later pathways. It, so there are two waves now associated with modern human dispersing across Asia during the late pristine. So from East Af Africa, uh, oh, sorry. Um, so first pass is uh, as old as uh, 120,000 years, that is crossing Arabia to South Asia. And, and that is go also going to uh, Southeast Asia to uh, Oceania. And also the second dispersal is well known, uh, 40, uh, 55, 43KA event to Europe, Central Asia, Siberia, and also East Asia. So uh, this is a uh, Japanese Ministry of Education and Science uh, funded project. And we are, uh, that is called the Cultural History of Paleo Asia. And we are, uh, have more than uh, 50 uh, research experts working together in five uh, disciplinary uh, themes namely archaeology, behavioral archaeology, uh, paleoenvironmental sciences, uh, evolutional uh, biology, and uh, uh, cultural an anthropology. And I I'm working as a uh, coordinator in headquarters. So uh, when talking about uh, knowledge in integration in team science, so the US National Research Council defined team science as scientific collaboration conducted by more than one individual in a interdependent uh, fashion. So this is a four uh, different uh, stages of uh, uh, collaboration uh, in the uh, level of uh, uh, knowledge integration. The first st stage is an unidisciplinary project. This is a, a researchers uh, from a single discipline like archaeology uh, to work together to address a common problem. This is like uh, an apple. And for multidisciplinary project, researchers from different disciplines like uh, archaeology and computer sciences uh, work se sequentially, each uh, from their own discipline specific perspective. This is like a fruit plate. And for interdisciplinary project, uh, that is like a fruit salad, researchers from dis dif different disciplines work jointly to address a common problem. Some integration of perspectives occurs, but the contribution remain anchored in their own discipline. So we are at the current status here. So uh, in our future, a uh, direction is a uh, transdisciplinary research. This is like a moose. So in this uh, transdisciplinary research, researchers from different disciplines and also social stakeholders uh, work jointly to develop and use a shared conceptual framework and synthesis uh, extend different specific theories, concepts, and methods to create new approaches to address a common problem. So that stage is we are now uh, pursuing. So at the first step, we are compiling uh, the integrated database of cultural history of Paleo Asia. So now we have more than uh, 3,300 archaeological sites uh, dated between uh, 200,000 years ago and uh, 20,000 years ago uh, from entire region of Africa, Europe, Asia, and Oceania. So we found the problems. So there seem to be gaps in understanding culture, uh, bunka in Japanese language, among team members of different backgrounds, although it is a focal concept of the project. So our meta research question is, what is the uh, cause of this gap? And also, how can we overcome it? So we see such gap is a information asymmetry in terms of economics uh, defined in early 1970s. So that is the original meaning is that one party has relevant information and we as others do not. So in this case, in market, uh, prices are formed in something unbalanced way. So in 
the sense of our collaborative research that information asymmetry is a different views uh, to the same thing. So such information asymmetry between collaborators, obstacles, solution-oriented team science, uh, because it may lead to different understandings in focal issues and other collaborators. Such asymmetry could be caused by collaborators' difference in research thought. So our hi working hypothesis is uh, the key term, culture, has been used as a buzzword, which is an important sound, usually a technical word or phrase, often of little meaning, used chiefly to impress laymen. So uh, when talking about cultures, the definition is really, uh, we have a, a number of dif different definitions in social theories. So these are uh, simple, simplified graphs and the horizontal, uh, sorry, horizontal axis uh, represents uh, the, in, for example, the left side is the individualism. It means uh, they think a culture as an individual uh, phenomena. And uh, the, the example is of Max Weber and uh, sociology is thought. Uh, in contrast, uh, there's a, a methodological totalism like Emil Durkheim and anthropology schools, uh, they think culture is a kind of group dynamics. And uh, the vertical axis is a scale of perspectives. So for uh, the top uh, macro scale perspectives, that is a case of production, subsistence, and technology. We are talking about these things uh, and culture we follow, for example, the definition by Julia Stewart and environmental adaptation theories, for example. And for when talking about communication and symbolism so like that, uh, we are talking culture in a uh, micro scale perspective, like Clifford Giat and uh, his network of meaning theories. So we analyze our own uh, thoughts. Uh, so descriptions related to culture uh, of our colleagues were mined from text of the project conference abstracts and annual reports. So the method is a kind of discourse analysis. We analyzed the three uh, conference proceedings, books and annual reports of uh, each uh, research team. So from these uh, sources, oh, excuse me, um, from these sources, sentences, including the word culture, uh, exactly like bunka in Japanese, was extracted. So this is a uh, count in the English translation, uh, English abstract, I mean, by team. And interestingly enough, uh, the evolutionary biology team, they uh, look uh, really most remote to uh, cultural sciences, uh, used uh, the term culture most frequently. So we called uh, the uh, text uh, uh, sentences uh, through these uh, criteria. So the first one is a synonym or paraphrase words, the second antonym or opposite word, a derivative definition, examples or subject, and indicators to analyze a specific aspect of culture and uh, relevant expression in Japanese language abstract. So this is a result uh, for uh, synonym, antonym, and derivatives. So uh, this coloring uh, uh, stands for the different uh, themes uh, of uh, dif uh, different. So for archaeology themes, uh, uh, they tend to use culture as a synonym of behavior and social. Uh, in uh, comparison to this, uh, for cultural anthropologists, tend to think culture as also behavior and society, but that is also, for example, cultural, uh, socio-culture, cultural regulation, religious, uh, linguistics, so that, that part. And in more, more interestingly, evolution of biologists think culture as a kind of quality, high level or low level culture level they mention, and that is also connected to behavior and also languages sometimes. Uh, and for examples of cultures, uh, as we can easily uh, uh, imagine, archaeologists uh, for Paleolithic period uh, tend to think culture in basic industries, basic assemblages, materials, and somebody annual use, and for cultural anthropology, that's a more diverse, specific aspect, for example, textiles, bees, dwellings, body decoration, so that is a, of their own research interest. And for uh, 
population virus story, this is not uh, shown well, uh, but uh, they are really close to archaeologists. For indicators, uh, that is very limited number of uh, examples are taken because uh, uh, that is uh, English abstract, that is a, lip, a shorter version of Japanese full abstract. So um, they are talking about, for example, for our archaeologists say, a difference in stone tools is an indicator of culture, while uh, also the, uh, another archaeologist say, this te technotypology is a trace of culture. Uh, and uh, then uh, culture answers just mentioned relations be between a natural environment innovations uh, that is uh, connected to the indicator of culture and uh, yeah this is uh, our main research language is Japanese so uh, the more original uh, expression uh, they contained uh, sometimes culture like uh, for example this case uh, that is a uh, so means a cultural layer literary and for English translation this is only stratigraphy so culture is missing. And also this is a case for Bunkaken and cultural sphere is uh, translated into English regional variability. And for Bunka also culture element, uh, literal, that is the only element, so culture is missing. And for, most interestingly, Lysic culture is in English discussion, that is Lysic industry. So culture is also missing and replaced by industrial assemblage. So uh, this is our uh, interpretation of this uh, difference, especially between anthropologists and archaeologists. So for anthropologists, they are doing ethnography. Uh, they study uh, behavior or utterance of a specific individual at a given time or place. And, uh, place. Okay. and they tend to interpret culture from individual behavior. In comparison of that, Archaeologists tend to think archaeological material is a trace of human behavior and uh, in a widely uh, context, spatial temporal context. And they tend to define a culture from traces of collective behavior or group dynamics. So when looking at the same uh, lysics, like this is a Luvaroa core and break, and this is a obsidian core and break. So, uh, Akio thinks that this is a kind of accumulation of collective behavior, like technology or method, in a long term or wide area context. While experimental archaeologists and also anthropologists think this is a kind of a tentative individual behavior of percussion at a given time and place. So, such archaeological materials as a result of individual behavior reflect both uh, tentative behavior and its accumulation. So, I s we. Uh, so we suggest behavior as a focal point. So I just skip this uh, uh, slide. So we uh, con conclude uh, our, our research here that uh, to identify the information asymmetry related to the term culture in the Paleoarchia project, uh, we analyze the text of project uh, conference abstract and re reports. The qualitative text analysis has revealed that some members think culture, uh, like uh, anthropologists think culture from uh, individual behavior, while archaeologists tend to think it from group dynamics. Uh, discussion in a project meeting, so we uh, discussed this in an in, in intensive manner, and uh, we decided in, in come to in consent uh, with a definition of culture as a trace of behavior. We will continue uh, developing an ontology or common terms uh, concept or semantics of our project for the next four years. So thank you for your kind of attention. Thank you.